Hey guys, welcome back to another review. It's David Dotson from the movie Blue Mountain Mystery. No, not the DVD, sorry. But a Trimaster 3 pack from 2012. Blue Mountain Quarry Blast, which comes with a yellow cargo car with a sign on common flats with like steel stuff and orange cargo car or orange, tannish, brownish, um, something to mix with like dynamite. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And in the back, if you want to get other cars, like packs, you also get the Brenda Shipping Co. So yeah, um, I actually found this for a pretty cheap price on eBay for $12 and $6 for shipping. So back in November 2020, so that was a steel, steel deal there. See, so yeah, honestly, it's pretty cool. You get like, just have these extensions, like if you want to do scenes with the Blue Mountain Quarry, like with narrow gauge engines or the standard gauge engines. The trucks work for both packs, both ways. All right. Oh, this is cool. You can combine the cargo pieces to be able to quarry sign. All right, let's get on it. Okay, we're back. And here they are. Let's start from probably the bottom this time. So yeah, we got the uh, dynamite car right here. Give it a 360 look, which is a repaint of the normal cargo cars you see in uh, all the Trackmaster told me play rail uh, items. And then here is the dynamite like base stand for the sign, which is pretty cool. I think maybe one thing I would said is if I write down, I mean, it could be hard to do, but right. TNT on just maybe one side of the crates, but it might have been a bit hard, so no judgment on that. Then we have the Conflats, just a regular standard Conflat car, truck, truck. We're gonna get so much trouble for all the terminology, it's not even funny anymore. <laughs> oh boy. Here's the steel for the base. Then we have the, uh, the sign, which I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys, which is just the logo of Owen's, the inclines, like, um, yeah. All right, let's see if, where's this go? I think it going go here. No. Uh, I'm just gonna say it goes there, but, I didn't look at the box all thinking with it. Oh, there we go. There's a sign. Now here's the Blue Mountain Quarry um, yellow car. Truck. Oh boy. This is gonna be one night or day where in the room this airs where all the terminology like gets thrown back at me. Oh, okay, that's a bummer. One side says Blue Mountain Quarry and then the other side is just blank. The heck? Let me show this. Oh, they did the same thing as well. Like, I don't know if that was just a lazy move or just let's have one side with the logo, then keep the other side blank and this with the look with the name of the uh, location. And then, oh, oh. So yeah, here they are. I had to give this like a um, eight out of ten. I feel like they kind of like. Maybe do some like extra detailing on the base. The sign and the steel thing, holy, it's good. Well, it's a plastic thing, but I'm calling it steel. Like, maybe a little extra detailing. Like, no, actually, no way to change plan. They make it 9 out of 10. It's the sign that's fine, the base. It's just the. Uh, maybe fill the rest of the side up with uh, these on the other side, too. Otherwise, it's just gonna look bare and naked. Alright, and yeah, I probably would have gone with like a, a bluer color for this to match up with the theme of the quarry. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.